Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Ethical Hacking Tutorial. I am Swetav Suman back with another video. So in this topic, in this course part 3.1, I am going to talk about how you can change your IP address using network configuration. So uh, earlier uh, of this video, I already created how you can change your IP address using a website, a proxy website. Uh, it was really easy so uh, if you are new to this video new to my channel go check out that video I added that video in my uh, I added link of that video in my description so you can check that right away and uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed this uh, channel then please subscribe uh, because I will always post new videos and uh, I will uh, create new courses uh, related to cyber security web application web development and search engine optimization in the future so i'm sure you're gonna, you're gonna like it so let's come to the topic so uh, uh, what do we need for this first things uh, we need uh, first in things we will need a proxy ip address and uh, another thing is we will we will have to get a web browser like a google chrome or mozilla firefox and what whatever you can use and uh, i will also discuss type of proxy addresses and vpn addresses so uh, first uh, i already uh, told you so we will have to get some ip addresses and port number so i will add a uh, link i will add a link of a website where you can get free ip addresses and port number uh, that is open source that's why it is totally free another thing is a web browser so i'm i'm 100 sure you you have already installed some kind of web browser like a google chrome microsoft edge or mozilla firefox i recommend i personally recommend google chrome because it is uh, more secure and more better than any other uh, browser so firefox is also nice so you can also use that so how it will work in practice so guys i'm going to show you a very simple and easy concept you just have to be calm and just listen okay uh, i'm sure you're gonna like it you will understand everything it is too easy so this is the normal internet connection so here this is your computer and your isp isp stands for internet service provider and the internet connection so if you if you want to visit google google.com if you want to visit facebook.com then uh, you will have to connect to the internet first and then you will get an ip address a personal ip address that is public ip address something like uh, one nine uh, something like uh, it is it is random so something like if you, if it is your local ip address then it will be something like 192.168.0.1 uh, and uh, you, it is local IP address and your public ad, uh, IP address will be random, any number. So then uh, using your IP address, using your identity of your computer, you will be able to connect to the web server, to the Google, to the Facebook and Google will able to track you. Uh, you track your location, where you are right now and uh, uh, what is your Past history is using cache. That is the another part, and I will explain that later. It is really deep. Uh, so this is the. I hope you can see this, guys. This is the normal connection of your internet connectivity. Like there is no no bridge, no, no connection to the another server. Just your computer, your ISP, and the web server. Another thing is, if you are using configured ip address or a vpn uh, on a system then first then first your computer will connect to the isp then it will connect to the secure proxy or personal vpn uh, this is it and uh, then your proxy vpn your personal uh, proxy vpn or personal vpn virtual private network will connect to the web server so you are not directly connecting to the web server you you are first uh, you are first connecting with your uh, personal vpn then you are connecting to the web server 
so web server will not able to find your what is your original IP address and uh, all your traffic is routed from computer through your ISP so to the final destination so at every uh, step uh, your data is uh, not being recorded and you are not vulnerable to any attack like man in the middle attack or anything like uh, SSL strip I will also create a video on that so here you are secured secured than a normal user so what is the advantage like uh, according to me there are two very important advantages first your data is protected from blocking tracking or man in the middle attack attacks uh, and uh, which is conducted by your isp or any hackers and the second uh, very important advantage is your data now appears to use the IP address of the VPN server, not your real IP address. So most websites gather and re retain extensive database on this IP address, which has now been replaced by a fake IP address. This, which has been now replaced by this secure proxy and personal VPN. So you are safe. Another uh, part of this IP address and VPN uh, types of proxy types of proxy server type types of IP addresses so there are four types first transparent proxy so in transparent proxy it tells website that it is a proxy server and it will pass along with your original IP address anyway okay like it means uh, if you are connected to the Google then Google will know that uh, you are using a proxy server, you are using a VPN and uh, also uh, Google will able to gather your original IP address in an anonymous proxy, the second type in an anonymous proxy, it will identify itself as a proxy but it won't pass your IP address to the website means uh, if you are going visiting Google, if you, are, if you want to visit Google then Google will know that you are using a proxy server, you are using VPN but Google will not able to get your original IP address. You will be safe that way, but still Google know that you are using VPN. So in uh, third, uh, third type of proxy, elite proxy, it passes along an incorrect IP address for you while identifying itself as a proxy. So it means uh, uh, Google will know that you are uh, like you are using a proxy server, you are using VPN, but it will generate some random or incorrect IP address for your system. So in the high anonymity proxy, the proxy and your IP address stay a secret. Uh, the website just see a random IP address connecting to it that isn't yours. It means like uh, if you are trying to connect with Google, if you, are, if you want to surf, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or anything, whatever you want, uh, you will like they, they won't know, like they will never able to get your original IP address. And they will just think that uh, VPN is your original IP address, and they just, they also don't know if you are using VPN or not. It is it is totally safe. For example, if you are trying to visit uh, dark web, deep web, then you should use high anonymity proxy addresses and port numbers that is totally safe and uh, you should uh, you know, use a surf web uh, everything on the deep web dark web in the tunnel uh, so that uh, uh, you can like you can be safe from hackers and attackers so i will also create a video on deep web and dark web uh, in later because i am just new to the youtube so i will start sharing that too uh, so let's uh, let's try this and uh, see how how we can do this in reality okay so i'm gonna use uh, google chrome uh, for the practical and uh, just follow every step and you will be able to do it it is really simple so let's do it so hello guys so let's try this at practical. So also I, uh, this is my website and I wrote an article about 
obtain best free VPN for computers and a smartphone. Uh, you will also get a download link. Like here you can get download on here, Inscribe, Casper Sky VPN and Phantom Avira VPN. These are all free with a, also with a paid membership but you can use it free. Like uh, you don't need to pay if you are using a trial version or a demo version. But let's uh, come to the topic again. Uh, so here, first uh, you have to visit this website. First you have to visit this website, spyas.1.en. I will add link in the description, don't worry about it. So once you visit this website, uh, you will see uh, IP addresses with the port number and proxy type and anonymity level country country and uptime and last check that so here I'm just gonna try this first IP address and check so you don't have to do any hard work uh, it, is, it is really simple you just have to click here uh, three dot in the right upper corner of your Google Chrome browser just click on the settings and click here advanced here system and click here open your computer's proxy setting once you click that, you will able to see this uh, section of your windows, uh, proxy and automatic proxy setup. So you have to disable this and you have to enable this section. I already added some IP addresses when I was using, but here I am going to explain you so I will do it manually so you can understand better. So here. Let's go here and let's copy this IP address. Okay, also check the uh, uptime. If uptime is good, like 63%, this is this is good. Uh, and uh, last check should is okay. As you can see, also 32 devices can connect uh, to this IP address. So you have just you just need to copy this, copy this IP address. Remember the port number 8080. Go to your setting, paste here, add 80880 in the port number. Just click save. That's it. So, this is it. Was as you can see, my ISP is zero and uh, country is India. Now I'm just gonna refresh this, refresh this page, and as you can see, this page isn't working. Uh, there must be something uh, problem, like there must be something an error with uh, connectivity. So I'm just gonna change the IP address because this is not working. So let's see a uh, different one from let's see at time eighty one percent from Ukraine. Okay. Okay, now just copy here. What was the port? What was the port number? This is right. No, no, no. This. No. Shit, I forgot the port number. Gone. Okay, five seventeen one zero five one zero five. Okay, here. Now this is not the one. Anyway. I'm gonna get better one. I can. We can try this. This. This thing. Uh, this port number and IP address. Okay. So let's copy here the IP address. Let's copy the port number here. Click save and check if it is working or not. So as you can see here in the uh, left uh, below corner, it was waiting for proxy. So now my internet connection, uh, now my system is connected to the uh, proxy server 
and this is the IP address IPv6 not detected and, and my ISP is now Skyband and right now I'm in Malavia Malavi whatever it is so this is fun and uh, it's also good like you can try this now you can visit any website that is blocked in a country or blocked by your internet service provider you can easily visit that base and you can also see here uh, this is the IP address you know this is the IP address and here is the same IP address because I added that and I want my system to use this IP address not my original IP address so this is fun try this and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions you can also uh, connect with me on my Instagram or ask anything about ethical hacking and cyber security um, it is not paid it is totally free so it is it is fun so just ask the question just uh, subscribe this channel for more better content support me uh, with your like just like just click on the like button and just support me yes. so now you know everything about uh, how you can change your appearance using uh, your system configuration and uh, manually so it, it was really easy you can also check out my previous video uh, which was more easier than this uh, so thanks again for watching this video and uh, please subscribe this channel for more better content I will upload more content and more uh, content in this ethical hacking series which is, which is totally free free of cost I'm not gonna charge anything from you and uh, uh, one more thing you can also like this video and support me and uh, if you are if you have any questions you can write down in the comment, sec comment section I will, I will answer you of course no. and I will if I will answer every question so if you have if you want to ask in private then you can connect me on my Instagram I will put my Instagram ID, in, uh, ID link in the description area so you can check that too yeah. and ask anything whatever you want but only related to cyber security and uh, ethical hacking so see you guys have fun